Okay, people, so after running through some procedures on my Corvette here, I've got it in accessory mode. Got the CAN-D module plugged in to the OBD port. Just wanted to show you how I ended up solving the problem. It was actually pretty stupid. It was the daggone. So I guess on this car, 2005 Corvette, there are two clutch sensor, clutch position sensors in the thing. You've got the one at the top that tells the car that the clutch is all the way up. And then you've got one down at the bottom that tells the clutch is all the way down at the bottom. So I'm guessing it was the sensor down on the bottom that was bad. I just jumped that. And now the car seemed to start every single time I go to start it. But I just want to kind of walk you through the procedure on this Tech 2. This is the Tech 2 clone that I bought on eBay. I'm sure that it came straight from China. It was about $315 shipped to my front door. But if it saves me a trip to the dealer and the anxiety of the car sitting in the dealer's lot, the potential for some idiot to do something stupid and damage it or back a minivan up into it or something stupid like that, well worth the price in my opinion. So this is how I went ahead and di diagnosed the issue. I came in, I went to diagnostics, scrolled down to my year, I've got a 2005. Hit enter, passenger car. This is a Chevrolet naturally, and it is a Y body. This is what you're looking for here. So I think I went to, um, no, not that. I went into engine, I believe. Press enter. Engine, is it engine controls or engine electrical? Special function, engine control module. Output controls. Hmm. Engine controls ignition relay. Let's see. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly what I was in. Okay, so this is what kind of threw me off. I had ignition one z ignition one signal was at zero volts. Um, ignition accessory signal on, ignition relay command off. If you press this button right here, it will actually command that to come on. And then I think it actually gives you a voltage reading. Yeah, there you go. So ignition relay feedback is zero volts. So that was telling me that I wasn't getting power to my relay when I would command it on, zero volts would come back through. So I knew that there was a little bit of an issue there. So that was part of the problem. Okay, so we're back to the beginning. So I backed back out. Hmm, where did I go from there? So I think I went to the starter relay at that point. Yeah, here we go. So it was telling my clutch start switch was released. So I was like, hmm, well, let me see what's going on with that. And I jumped that over, because right here you can see, like if I push the brake, if I push the brake, you can see that's applied. The brake pedal circuit signal. I'll let go of it, apply it, let go of it. So I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I went ahead and jumped that over. And now it will start. Oh, let's not start up with this on though. Let's turn it off. So go out of accessory mode. And boom, there we go. So after my car 
sitting for like a month. I was finally able to figure it out. So it cost me $300 to buy this tool, but I'm happy I figured out what the problem is. So this is that sensor that I believe to be a faulty sensor. It is the sensor that kind of shows that it's all the way fully depressed when you've got the clutch in. The clutch contacts it right here, pushes it all the way in. So it kind of stinks I had to buy this tool to figure that out, but I'm glad I didn't have to take it to the dealer. And uh, this is a pretty cool little tool to have anyways. I'm sure it'll help me in the future diagnosing problems that I'm gonna have with the car. Because I'm sure as the car gets older, right now it's got 80,000 miles on it, but I'm sure as the miles go up and it gets older and older, I'm gonna continue to have nothing but electrical problems like this. And this thing is definitely gonna help me out. So I thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps you out diagnosing your car. It also helps you make the decision as to whether or not this tool is the right thing for you. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, comment as well. Thank you.